Hi, I'd like to introduce you to my wooden bottles of Magus Obeyo. I'm not quite sure how his name is really pronounced, but the thing is, um, you all know the brass or the uh, silver ones. Um, there are good ones, there are bad ones. The ones I bought are very cheap. I didn't know which one to buy. I was in belly dance class and uh, our teacher told us to buy those. So we are doing those on our choreography. And um, so I bought this and they are this really cheap metal ones without any decoration um, and they got a hole not two slits and I highly recommend to take some good slits even or whether you're buying the ones made out of wood or the ones of metal just uh, do yourself a favor and uh, buy one with slits. So, these are my really cheap brass ones. Very... <laughs> <Not yet. laughs> so, um, so you can compare with metal ones. I like to give you a quick sound of this one. Um, I am not quite able to play with these because um, they have this one hole mechanic and they are just wobbling around my fingers and so they are just a little bit doing what they want not what I want if you have the two slit option take it it is much more safe on your finger and you can quite so much better control it so at that time I thought I will never ever play the zills again and then I started with ATS. <laughs> and ATS answers you have to. And it's just, it, it looks so nice and it sounds nice and it's, it, the, you can't have ATS without you can but then it's not <laughs> the words the words so I hope you know what I mean it just good um, it's one so I saw this beautiful wooden zilts of Marcus Obeiro and he's a French woodcrafter and I think his girlfriend or wife is dancing ATS too. So um, and, um, he crafts wooden zilts and it's so much nicer for your ears and um, so my girls and me decided to give it a try and to take some wooden zilts and I think wood is much more earthy and um, it sounds nice it's a little bit like castanets and I like the fact that you just can paint them like you want to give your own pattern and your own design. I did this. It's some kind of um, Mehandi or Henna uh, pattern, some kind of Indian pattern and um, I did it with acrylics and some kind of watercolor pencils 
and peeled out his pants because they don't run into the structure of the wood and then I gave it a glaze to cover it and to protect it and the one with the blue border are for my middle fingers and the more golden ones are for my thumbs and like you can see they got the two slits and when you order them you get them with the elastics uh, or a piece of elastic you can sew on them by yourself because every finger is other <laughs> um, we are not quite the same you do it quite for yourself and yes it took quite some time maybe about one and a half month or two but I ordered them in November or December and there was Christmas and I know they are also selling to um, tribal shops and um, I think uh, the FCBD shop was selling them too and the German shop Scheiler is selling them and um, so they have a, a whole bunch of results to make and it takes quite some time. I paid for the wooden results. I took four sets um, for every girl of us one and I took them without anything so they are um, not painted or glazed when I ordered them and um, and I paid with PayPal because that was the easiest way for me and then someday they um, sent me an email and said yeah your results are ready so now you can pay them and this was really cool I thought because when I ordered them I asked and so where should I send the money to and they said no no you send the money, the money when the results are ready so that was pretty cool and I paid for um, for the four sets and the shipping costs um, all of all 60 euro which makes 14 euro f um, each set that was a really cool and nice um, price therefore they are a handmade and he did them just for us so I give you a quick example of the sound and you will see it's much more easier for me to play with this than to play with the other ones which does not um, it's, it's not that be, that way because um, the other ones are so heavy they are much more heavier than this. These are really light, lightweight, really. But um, it depends on the holes. These are so controllable because of the slits. And I think I would play with uh, the metal ones even good or not so good um, when they are good fastened to my finger, fingers um, yes but there's always a discussion do ATS need this are the, the are only the Hawaiian or can you take others and um, is wooden zill playing okay do you just play it for practicing or whatever we think for us it is totally okay to just play the wooden zills 
for now we are really happy and we have no plans for the future to change to metal ones. Maybe um, things change, but for now we like our wooden zills. So, a little bit of practice. <laughs> doesn't want to. Ta-da! So, you can hear they are much more like castanets. Um, they are compared to my breasts, not really more quiet, but they sound much nicer and my neighbors never argued with me <laughs> about it. So I think it's, it's an ear friendly and neighbor friendly alternative and maybe you just want to play with wooden salts too. Nothing bad about it, oh? Happy salt playing! <laughs>